Do you know, according to World Health Organization, over 3 million people per year die from water-related diseases. Hi, my name is Asim Sijwani and I'm the president of Disruptex. Today, we're going to study one of our use cases on our IoT platform, which is all about swimming pool monitoring and maintenance. How the current pool market is working? We have an owner. Owner may have a single asset or multiple assets. If it's a single asset owner, he will typically like to tie up with a larger FM company. That FM company will have a subdivision within them which manages the pool or they may subcontract the pool contract to some other company. Owner may have multiple assets. So most of these owners, they create an internal facility management company and this internal facility management company may bring the larger facility management company to manage the whole structure or they may give a sub small contracts to the companies who are actually implementing these solutions. So they may have a company who is directly managing the pools for them. If it's a community pool or if it's a commercial pool, then there is a government or a municipal body which is actually overlooking the pool's performance. Currently, the regulation states that at least three times per day for commercial pools or community pools and sometimes six times per day for high-end commercial pools, which are basically hotels, the water have to be tested. The current pool testing market is all manual. Good companies have dedicated people. These people will be going from pool to another pool. They will be doing a manual test. These people will be recording the data and based on that data, appropriate amount of chemicals will be added to maintain the pool. Companies who are trying to save the cost will try to use a lifeguard available there and that lifeguard will be passing the data back to some manual data operator who will be logging the data directly into an Excel sheet and that report will be given to the municipal body and to the owner directly. These reports are weekly or monthly. If you are an owner or a government or a municipal body, pick up a report for any FM company submitted and see if there is any problem you see in that. I can assure you that none of the FM company has ever reported that they are not managing the pool properly. This is a huge problem with manual testing. Government eventually hires their own people who will go from pool to pool collecting the data and that adds an extra cost on top of the government. This eventually should be scary for owners also because if the pool is not managed properly then the municipal body or the government body will eventually issue a fine or some kind of restriction on usage of the pool which eventually will affect the property value or eventually affect the rentals which are coming out of that property. What's the cost behind this manual testing? If you have a dedicated person who has to test every pool thrice a day, then how many pools he can logically cover? If you are using a lifeguard, again, you need to have the lifeguard all seven days testing the data. Secondly, there is a manual test kit, which will always, of course, have an extra cost. Third, the data has to be passed via some sort of a communication method to a person who will be logging this data. Fourth, the same person will have to then manually send this data to the municipal or the government body and also to the owner. And does this data is ever visible to the person who's actually adding the chemicals at that specific time in your pool? Pool is an asset for every building. This asset is supposed to last at least for 20 years. Pool construction costs between $250,000 to $2 million. Think if the pool is not managed properly, your asset life will decrease from 40 to 60%. So if a pool was supposed to perform for 20 years with a cost of $250,000, but cause of bad FM management, the pool lasts only for 10 years. This eventually has costed the owner $125,000 plus the bad reputation what he is going to get because of the bad maintenance of the pool water quality.
pool is the most important aspect of your property if you are into property rentals if you are having a structure where you want your property to be sold if you are in a hotel where you want the guests to stay pool will be one of the most important aspects people who tend to enjoy the pool always leave very positive remarks over the social medium and this eventually helps you to command a higher rental value or eventually a higher sales value of the property so what's the iot use case for a swimming pool remove the traditional method of manual testing have a device which can communicate through an iot low power van to the cloud where the data can be stored the readings can be simultaneously shown to the owners property facility management companies and to the government authority finally raising alerts to know each and every one when the pool needs attention for any chemical intake and the most important thing making the pool asset life longer cost will be one of the key aspect in determining if this use case can be implemented on mass scale or not we have taken a survey where people are ready to pay around a dollar for a pool maintenance per day if the traditional manual process can be taken away at disruptex we have driven the cost further down and now we can offer you the same solution for 68 cents per day by removing the complete manual process and replacing it with a complete new iot use case solution communication is key for iot platform we will use a low power van communication method which is sigfox it's available across many countries you can go to sigfox.com to check your country's availability The hardware what we'll be using for this use case is going to have a long battery life of 2 years and also the sensor life is 2 years. It can be used outdoor or indoor without any hassles. This device will be reporting to the IoT cloud using the Sigfox communication protocol. Because of the low power van, we are able to last the battery for 2 years, which is the most important thing for any IoT use case. Most of the people who are managing the swimming pools are caught in a trifactor syndrome that is they are only looking for temperature ph and free chlorine so coming out of this trifactor syndrome what are the key elements an owner or a facility managing company should be recording they should be having temperature ph orp conductivity tds salinity and free chlorine Now that seven senses which are very very important in knowing the quality of the pool water our device is recording all these seven senses and we use ai to calculate tds salinity and free chlorine this is very very important in having this use case on a mass implementation stage If you're looking for a free chlorine sensor separately not using an AI a sensor per year is going to cost you minimum 1500 US dollars so within 10 years you will spend $15000 just looking at the chlorine value most of the owners should look at the ORP there is a very good studies available online for ORP and how ORP is replacing free chlorine across the world right now So who are the stakeholders involved in an IoT platform? First will be the owner. Owner may have an internal FM company. Internal FM company or the owner will be contracting it to the facility management company. A facility management company is a company who will be subcontracting or they may have the division who will be managing this swimming pool. There is always the government authority or a body which can be a municipal corporation. there can be a command and control center operator which is looking for all the pools simultaneously for a specific community or for a very big property or for a very big fm company also these are all the important players who need to get the data from the iot platform hourly or by hourly on 
the water quality management for a swimming pool. So what the Disrupt X IoT platform is going to offer you? We're going to offer you a customized alert level where multiple people can be involved at different stages. So let's say if you're trying to manage a temperature of 23 to 26 degrees. So if the barrier is crossing 26 degrees or higher, an alert can be generated. Let's say when it reaches to 28 degrees, a higher level of alert can be generated. And if it is crossing 30 degrees, a further higher level of alert can be generated where the pool can be stopped completely. Reports are mandatory for this IoT platform. We have daily, weekly, monthly and quarterly reports. You should be able to do a lot of analytics on top of this platform, structure to structure comparison, structure to device comparison, device to device comparison. Permissions are very, very important in defining the role-based access control of all the people involved and what kind of permissions these people are having in managing this pool. There should be an annual maintenance company, a facility management company also involved. Also authority is there, which will be taking the data from you. Owners are of course the most important aspect and all of that should be under one screen. Of course, a proper mobile app should be available to generate these alerts and these alerts should be sent to the owners or the respected people I mean the facility management, the government authority via email, WhatsApp, SMS or phone call whenever it's required. So what Disruptex is offering to their clients? A device which can be put directly in the pool or connected on the dozer system. This device is going to use an LP WAN Sigfox communication method and it's going to report the data over a cloud. From the cloud, Various stakeholders like owners, FM companies, annual maintenance company, government bodies and the operators can check the data and set multiple alert levels or alarm levels. And finally, all of that is coming to you at a cost of 499 US dollars, which is coming around 68 cents per day for the whole two years. Thank you for trusting Disrupt Techs and hope you have enjoyed this video. Please comment if you have any further questions and we'll be more than happy to answer these questions for you. Thank you.